Hello, and welcome to this presentation on what and when to cite in text. You have to cite everything that you use. We cite because it's the right thing to do. We cite because it's polite. We cite because we are acknowledging where the information came from in the first place. This image, for instance, came from Henry, who posted it to his Flickr feed. I got all of that information off of the page itself. So this is a screenshot. Down here we have Henry and we have the title of the image, which is also the file name in this case. Over here we have the date that it was taken on, according to Flickr. And it tells us that some rights are reserved. In this case, this copyright symbol, the little person in the circle, is a Creative Commons symbol that says that anybody can use this by attributing it to Henry that we've already talked about. And up at the top in the screenshot that you don't see is the URL of the page. These were all things that I needed to cite the image in the previous citation. This is how I might cite it in text. In the image by Henry, I see a crane flying in a clear blue sky with a moon in the background. Now, this doesn't use any particular style of citation, and you might hear that you have to use APA or something like that. So, here are some more examples. This is what that same looks like with an APA style format. Just after the name of the author, or creator in this case, in parentheses, I have the date of the image. This is an IEEE style citation. After the information that I have used from somebody else, I have the number of appearance of the item that I am citing in brackets. This one is in Chicago style. Again, it's in order by appearance of the document or appearance of the information. And this one is a footnote or an endnote. This is MLA style. As I've used the name of the author in the text itself, and if a last name were given, I would use the full name, I don't have to put any further information because there are no page numbers, which is what I would have to put if there were page numbers. So how does this translate to a text situation? This is a journal article. Here we have the authors. Up here we have the journal information, and the title is in between the two. And up at the top of the page, if we could see that, it would tell us what resource I had found this article in, whether that was one of the library resources, Google Scholar, I was just surfing the internet and I found some journal articles. It's most likely if you're using journal articles, you found them through a library resource, but you do this with any type of information that you found. So, I read the article, I want to use it in my paper, how would I do that? If I were citing an APA format, this is possibly what I would write. These two authors in 2014, again in parentheses after the author's name, claim this thing. If I were writing my paper in IEEE style, this is how that same information would look. If I were writing it in Chicago style, this is how the information would look. And if I were writing it in MLA, this is how it would look. So where we didn't have the page number in brackets previously, we have it down at the bottom. Now, everything that you cite in your text or that you talk about in your text has to come up in your reference list. So this is my reference list. These citations are in APA format. APA is one of the more common formats used at Oregon Tech, but use whatever your professor or your instance requires. And ask us, it's why we are here. These are a couple of links, www.oit.edu slash library slash help slash citing sources will get you citation styles, including everything that I've talked about now and a couple of other ones. It also links out to some important sites and sites that we think will help you better cite your papers. 
the 541 area code phone number will get you the library in Klamath Falls and the 503 number will get you the library in Wilsonville. Libtech at oit.edu will get you a librarian at Oregon Tech and the oit.edu library slash help slash ask will allow you to chat with us 24-7 or find other ways of contacting us.